Peace, peace, family. This video right here is about dead family and friends. Now, um, despite the title, I want to first and foremost um, make it foundated and concrete that we understand that we do not die. These bodies just no longer become powerful enough to store our light energies. Um, via the definition of death is the permanent termination of of the biological functions which sustain a living organism. So this body is just a vehicle, just a living organism which sustains um, the light entity which is you presiding and residing within it for a certain amount of time period. Now, we understand that um, the immortal realm creates the mortal realm or the immaterial realm creates the material realm. This body, the material realm, was created from what is known as the immaterial realm, aka the mind. Thought manifests matter. Um, anything that is physical is basically on a time clock that is impermanent. So the entire physical realm and continent which you see before you is an illusion. And all of this will cease to exist. That which has a beginning has an end. Anything that is physical had a beginning, therefore it has an end. But that which is not materialized is eternal. So if you want to find eternity, you must seek the spirit realm because it is not physical and it has no time limit. Now with that being said, we can go directly into the... um build now this video once again is about dead family and friends now if you watch my video about um life after death then um if not you can go on youtube and type in feral life after death um i show and prove how there is life after death and give you what happens after you leave this vehicle or do what we can conceptualize as death so now with that being said family we understand that um we have family and friends who we Attached to negatively because remember emotions connect the soul to the physical realm So now with that being said emotions also connect and bond other souls together is what you would call a soul tie So now we can understand that Apparently as we all live life on this realm We understand that we have some friends that in family that we are very very close to or loved ones or whatever you may call it wife husbands grandma grandpa Dad, mom, brother, sister, auntie, cousin, Joe up the street. We, we have people who we actually grow very close to. Now, let me give you an example before I go into what my, what my point is. When these people do what we call die or pass away, depending upon how connected you are to these people and undisciplined you are, you can actually trap these people here. Now, what do I mean by this? I'll give you an example. We all have people who, let's just say ladies, let's say your man go to jail. We got those ladies who break their goddamn neck for their man. You go up there, you visit them crazy, package, you on the phone with them all day. You cannot fathom them being out of your presence emotionally and mentally and spiritually after being forced to see that they can't be there physically. Now that's just an example that I want to give on a, on a, on a common um, level to show an example of a person who constantly is striving for somebody to be there physically or you got people who um let's say um you break up with somebody and they keep calling you texting you they just keep trying to physically summon you into their lives now i'm using these examples just to show that we have a tendency to not let go of things and be super attached or what i would like to call um yeah super attached now with that being said death can also be super attaching. Why? Because not only do we not want to let go of certain people or souls who we have grown to love or link, but also we realize that, I mean, also we have been taught to believe that we will never see these people again, which is a lie and it's not true. But we have been taught to believe that we will never see these people again or that they are gone forever. So what that means, what happens with that is, it might be something that you wish you could have said to this person or done for this person, or just whatever your personal regret is towards this person, you are now in sorrow or wishing and, 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 and wanting that this person to still be connected to you so that you can fulfill whatever it is you feel that you didn't get to fulfill. Whether you wish you could have said something, whether you sorry you did or said something, or whatever the case may be. Now, since you have the misconception from the Caucasian that they are gone forever, you're never going to see them again, you become super, super attached to them. Now... For whatever reason you are attached to a soul, 
or a friend or a family member or whoever that's deceased. It doesn't matter. It could be good or bad. You wish you could have said something. You just miss them. You may just love them that much and don't want them to be, wasn't ready for them to go out your life. Whatever the case may be, this is bad. Why is this bad? It's not bad that you love them, but it's bad that you are not willing to let them go. Because what you have lack of understanding is from their side, the fourth dimension now that they're on or the spare realm, they still feel you and you still are holding them. Like gravity, how the planets and the suns are not technically touching physically, but they are gravity, emotional, um, emotional energy, gravitational pull is holding them together. This gravity is, is, is still attracting the soul that left. So now instead of them going on their spirit journey, and if you watch my video once again, um, Life After Death, I, I state many things that go on after death. So now what will happen is these souls will actually not go on to reincarnate or not go on to transcend to where they need to go because they're stuck trying to get your damn attention and let you know it's okay. Or to, or, or to, 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 to um, sour you like you have mothers. Let's say your grandmother died and your grandmother loved you very much. Like most grandmothers love their grandchildren or whoever, or their daughters, or whoever. So, they pass away, and you are so, so, so stuck on them and so sad that they gone, that they might even refuse to go where they're going because they want to stay here and make sure that you're okay. Because the same way you're sad for them is the same way they don't want you to be sad. So, a lot of us have experiences where you be like, yo, I had a dream my grandma was in my room last night, or I had a dream my mom or my dead father, or whoever your dead friend or family, or I had a dream they came to me, or I synced them, I could have, or I feel their energy. That's because it's them. They're trying to let you know the same thing you're trying to let them know, that they okay. Because through ignorance, the ignorance don't mean stu stupidity, it means the lack of knowledge of. So through ignorance of the Caucasian making us ignorant to our most powerful self, which is the spirit self or the light entity, we have become ignorant to the fact that the same shit you wish you could tell this person in the spirit realm, they already know because they connected back directly with the source. See, this physical shell doesn't allow you to download your entire um, self, the light entity, into it. So all of your information and knowledge doesn't come into it. That's the point of meditation because you just pull in extra information that you already have but into a vessel so you can store it because you can't store it all at one time. So now when you leave this vessel, you are, you are it's like plugging back into the internet. You already know everything. So it's like... Your mother knows she, you know you love her because she can see you. She can feel you. She can read your mind. She's back in tune with God, Allah, whatever you want to call it. She's directly in tune with her higher self, the creator. So she knows that you didn't mean to say what you meant to say. Or they know that you're sorry or that you learned your lesson. You just ignorant to the fact that they know that now. Because the Caucasian has dumbed down your science of this realm. They know everything. So you can't be attached to them and keep being selfish in a way. To, as to not let them go on because you your lack of understanding because you're hindering them. If you don't let go of them spiritually and tell yourself, damn, my father, my mother, my man, whoever, they're dead now. So they're in the spirit world. They know everything. So they, I don't have to keep apologizing because they already know. They understand. They've learned their lesson. So if you don't do that, come to that understanding, then you're going to keep emitting energy that they're attracted to and they're going to keep trying to console you from that side of existence or that side of the dimension. Because remember, you're in the third dimension. As long as you're in a physically condensed body, this cannot pass the eight levels of density within the third dimension. So you're in the third dimension. They're now in the fourth dimension. And instead of them transcending, they keep trying to come back here and contact you as best they can on a density level that they're no longer in because you won't let them go. So now your grandmother or your mother... They can't, they're not going to transcend knowing that their daughter or their son or whoever is sad and miserable because they're dead. They're going to keep trying to console you from another level of existence. And you're going to live your whole life sad. And not only now did they pass away and wasn't able to transcend, but now you're going to do the same fucking thing and your kids going to be stuck and both y'all ass going to be stuck. And this is how you get, this is what you call ghosts. This is how you get ghosts floating around here. Because they can't move on because for some reason they're stuck here. You know what I'm saying? Now, it might not be a person. It might have been an incident like let's say you in a car and your car crashed and you die, but your infants is in the car. They don't die. Then some parents might be like, okay, well, I'm going to float around and just guide my children until I know that they're safe and then I'll move on. Now, that's another case scenario. But in this case scenario, I want people to, most people who deal with grievances to understand that it's okay. They already know. You know what I'm saying? They love you too. That's all you need to know. They love you too. They're in tune with the creator. They know all your pain. They just want you to understand and overcome. They're watching down on you. Ain't no white Jesus watching down on you. Your friends and family from your from this life cycle is watching down on you and guiding you and your ancestors. So with that being said, 
if you don't let them go by understanding that they already understand, then you trap them here. Ignorantly and indirectly, but you do it because now they don't want to move on because they want to make sure you okay. So what you want to do is understand that once you touch the spirit world, you already in tune with the creator. You know everything. That's why you meditate. So you can touch the spirit world and get information. Now picture when you do what we call die or pass away. You all you don't need to meditate. You already there. You know everything now. You in the source. So you know that you you know that your daughter or your son didn't mean to say what they said to you. So you would be looking down at them like, damn, why are you sad? I know that you were that you was suffering. I know that your chakras wasn't in tune and you was being um emitted by a negative frequency. We know that the Caucasian is tampering with the frequencies on this planet. We can see it now. So now they want you to be okay because now they can actually see from another perspective that you're trapped in a world that you don't know what's going on in. So now you trap them here and they don't want to move on because they're trying to console you. So the point of this is, y'all, I want people to know, you don't got to, it's okay to miss. I'm not saying don't love and miss your family members or your friends or relatives that's passed away. What I'm saying is don't be so attached and suffering that you emit an energy that won't allow them to move on because they're trying to stay back and console you or, or get you to understand that it's okay and that they understand. That's all I'm saying. So, family, if you have dead um, family and friends, understand that it's okay to love them and miss them. You can even meditate them up and speak to them if you're if you, if you, if you nice with chakras and astral projecting like that. But for those of us who may not be, just know that if your father died, your man got killed, your baby father passed away, your grandmother passed away, somebody died in jail, you need to know that it's okay to be sad and miss them, but you got to let them, you don't have to suffer and miss them and not let them go because you forcing them to stay here when they already know it's all right. They they okay. The only real thing I can say about um when people do what we call die or death, is when people say you're in a better place now. That's the only probably thing I would really agree with. They are in a better place and they do understand. Um, they know everything that's going on with you. You you might not. They know more about you at that point than you know. So you don't have to be worrying about them. You're the one who still got to get through this physical maze on this dimension. They good now. They they with the creator. Not no white heaven like the Bible claims. But they're with the creator. So um, allow people... To go on their next life cycle. And under this comes from understanding. You know what I'm saying? Um, the truth is the number one medicine. But acceptance is administering that medicine. Because if you're sick and I give you a herb. Okay. It's nice you got the herb. But if you don't know how to administer it. Then you can't heal. So if I give you the truth. It's nice you got the herb. But if you don't understand how to apply it to yourself, you can't never prescribe it to yourself and heal. So remember, y'all, truth is the best medicine, but acceptance and understanding is the best application of that medicine. If you can't understand and accept the truth, you can never apply the medicine that was given to you for your sickness. So when your people pass away, understand that they already know. They already know. You don't got to say sorry 900 times. They already know. It's okay to apologize and repent and get it out. But you don't have to hold on and keep doing it day in and day in out and feeling sorry or wishing they were still here. Because this, this physical realm is temporary. You're going to be gone with them as well. Whether it's natural or unnatural, you will leave this body one day. So understand that this is inevitable. This is on a time clock. The, your true self is immortal, which is a light entity. So once they release from their capsule or shell or vehicle or body, whatever you want to call it, they get back in tune with the solar energy and their vibration is already letting them know everything. You the one who's still in the illusion. They're not. So with that being said, family, understand that our friends and family know that they know what we want them to know. We just have to understand that they know it. And this comes again, once again, with getting in tune with your chakras and your intuition and getting in tune with your body. And I'm going to make a video. Um, I believe I'm going to title it Righteousness. And I'm going to deal with why... Um, the number one thing about why the melanated race in America can't fully open their chakras up. And I'm going to speak about the heart chakra and um, what you must do. Or how how righteousness is actually the key to coming into your higher self. But um, stay tuned for that video, family. Much more to come. And um, with that being said, I hope this video helped clear your minds about pains and, and sorrows and wanting to tell your family members things after they passed away. Um, and with that being said, peace.